Okay, so a little context of this video before we get started. So, I was at the swap meets, the good old swap meets, um, and I found a big old bin of bootleg DVDs for 50 cents. I picked up 11 of them. I go up to the front. Uh, before I pay for them, the guy's like, hey, look, you know that whole bin that you saw? You could have that for $10. And so I bought that whole bin. And here's the video. You will not believe what the hell's in here. Just tons of just random stuff in here. I mean, look at this. We have, oh, look at that. Pretty dark meat. Oh, wait, wait, that's, uh, that's porno. That's, that's bad. No, we're not going to do that. But I mean, look, look, look what we have in here. I mean, there's porn and there's all kinds of stuff. I mean, there's, there's a CD, Brooke Benton, the Millennium Collection. It's probably all scratched up and whatever. Um, but we got the Born Ultimatum. If you look at one of my old bootleg videos, I actually had a bootleg of the Born Ultimatum, but unfortunately that bootleg didn't go over so well. So maybe this one will go over a little better. I don't know. That's clear clearly not Matt Damon. Look at this. We have Brewster's Place. I think I remember this with the Oprah Winfrey. See, this is weird. See, this is a bootleg. Like, like this, there's just so many bootlegs in here. I cannot believe the mountains of just bootleg dvds and then you get stuff like here like my cups live from nokia that actually might be pretty funny i like my cups um and then stuff that is trying to escape uh like this which probably is porno i have no idea what the hell this is um yeah this is gonna be a lot folks i i i mean there's just so many i mean there's stuff just like falling off so i'll move those out the way actually these ones were the ones I picked up for uh, the video that I was going to shoot later on. See, those were the ones, th these were like the ones I picked up for the video I was going to shoot later on, but these were all the other ones, uh, like Out for Justice with Steven Seagal. This is the Blu-ray that I guess they threw in there. Um, I actually looked at this Blu-ray. This Blu-ray is all scratched up and whatever it have, whatever have you. But I mean, it's Steven Seagal, so I mean, you know, it's not like a big loss or nothing. If it was Van Damme, then maybe it'd be a big loss. Uh, BB B. King, that's moving around in there. Uh, oh, look, this Blockbuster formal rental. It's probably empty. Or no, no, it's got Transformers 2. Yeah, Transformers 2, the bootleg version, I guess. Hopefully it's not Transmorphers, the uh, Asylum one. And then here's a bootleg of Ray here. What's funny is, again, on one of my old bootleg videos, I looked at this bootleg, and I think I, I don't have that bootleg anymore because that was somebody else's bootleg that I borrowed. Um, yeah. So there's a bootleg of Ray in here with uh, with Jamie Foxx. And then we have a bootleg of, uh, of Yes Man, which has been popping out of there. Starring Jim Carrey. And an obviously photoshopped in Zoe Deschanel. I love movie posters like this because you could tell the actors were not there on time. I mean, how else would you get Jim Carrey, you know, to do that shoot? You know? And then this, um, which looks gross. Um, Temptations documentary, uh, Tim's documentary says, but I'm guaranteed it is the Temptations. Yeah, good old Temptations. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if they had the TV movie, The Temptations, in here. They play that on TV all the time. And then stuff like this, like True Justice Brotherhood with Steven Seagal. That's probably trash. Uh, this jazz Christmas CD, whatever it is. Just a bunch of just random stuff in here. I don't know what this is. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that is. Some of these I can't read the handwriting. Uh, let's see some Tim Tyson. I thought it said Mike Tyson at first. I was about to say that might have been interesting. Uh, the Butler. Yeah. Yeah. And they're all photocopied bootlegs or whatever it is. I don't know. Uh, the Hunger Game. I know the Hunger Games, but not the Hunger Game. Uh, then we got, what is this? Gravity. Oh, Gravity. It's uh, Sandra Bullock. Which I didn't even spell Bullock right. I don't know who that is. I know Sandra Bullock, but not Sandra Bullick. Not Bullick. You know? Is, is that a is that Sandra Bullock's porn star porn star game or whatever it is? I have no idea. Um Little Miss Sunshine on Bootleg. See, this is a white people movie, but this was sold in the hoods. You know, this was sold in the hoods. This was sold to me. Okay, they, they sold me. They were like the only way you have to watch this movie because your black is on a bootleg DVD. I don't know. Uh, this is not a test with Tom Arnold in it. That's never a good sign, but actually Tom Arnold was good in True Lies. Uh, Evan Almighty, um, which uh, has a photoshopped in 
uh, Morgan Freeman. You got to love how Morgan Freeman just looks like he's doing nothing. I Again, this, this is terrible. I mean, clearly Morgan Freeman wasn't on this poster. Because uh, if it was, I guarantee you this would be all like IMPs, like awards, worst posters of that year. Because, I mean, just look at Morgan Freeman. He looks like he's doing something else. This, this could be this could be from Seven. You know, that's what it is. He's looking at Brad Pitt, and then you got Steve Carell here, who obviously was in the poster. I don't know. I, I'm trying to make up stuff as I'm going along, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and this is the PG-13 cut of Evan Almighty, the PG-13 edition. Could you believe that? The PG-13 cut? Isn't that just amazing? I love bootleg DVDs and how many cuts they have of movies that I've never seen. Probably an empty case. Or no, this has a disc in it. This has 51st Street with Samuel Jackson and it's a gangster flick and it says 1970 2001 like all kinds of weird stuff I think I think they met formula 51 I don't know I, I, I do not know also I keep going out of focus I gotta fix this darn camera uh we're well, not the camera but I gotta fix the settings on it uh something else I guess it's what does it say man I don't know. I'll just get that one. There's just so many in here. Family that prays. Um, where is the hole? See, where's the hole? You, you guys know how a DVD has like a hole? Well, where's the hole to the family that prays? How are you supposed to watch this? I love the family that prays because Tyler Perry makes a bunch of religious movies. So when this came out, oh, there's the hole. Wait, what's this? Oh, is this artwork? Or is this together i don't know that's weird i'm gonna put that to the side but i i was saying like i love um this movie because when this came out i remember um by default like because tyler perry makes movies about you know god and stuff and has jesus stuff in his movies by default everybody thought it was a religious movie because um because you know you're like oh it's tyler perry it's about god but it's family that prays like it's not p-r-a-y it's p-r-e-y you know so i don't know but I don't know, you know? And then there's uh, 80 minutes, which I, I don't know if this is the Al Pacino 88 minutes. Um, oh, look, there's some ugh, R. Kelly. Um, does this have P on you, which was featured on um, Dave Chappelle? If it doesn't, then this CD is trash. But if it does have that song P on you in the remix too, then that'd be a great CD to keep. Again, that song's great by... Uh, by which was on the Dave Chappelle show. There's Frost Nixon, the original Watergate interviews. So I don't know if this is the movie or the actual interviews. That must be weird. Why would you make a bootleg of this? That's a crazy thing to make a bootleg of, unless if it's the movie, I don't know. Uh, Bobby Z with Paul Walker. I've never heard of this movie. Uh, Paul Walker, Lawrence Fishburne, because I guarantee you I would have heard, and I thought I kept up with Paul Walker's filmography, but I guess not. Rest in peace. Star Trek Into Darkness. Uh, that's an interesting design for a DVD. Parental Guidance, which I've heard this film's awful. Um, Taken 2. Some of these have dates on them, like 12, 20, like, like December of 2012. And then this one, uh, Hot in Hot and Warm, I guess? That's probably some porno. And then here's uh, Donnie Yin and Flashpoint. Uh, then we got Murder Mystery. Uh, all, all kinds of weird stuff in here. I mean, let's see. <laughs> Check this out. Some bootleggers have a sense of humor. Look at this. The Godric. Spooky shit. <laughs> Somebody has a sense of humor. Somebody out there who made this bootleg has some kind of sense of humor but you know what i guess somebody's watching my videos or would know the country comes out 2013 i started making bootleg videos 2015 so somebody must have been a time traveler and must have known that i made fun of this stuff look at that that is look at that like pure sense of humor this is probably the greatest bootleg dvd ever i'm, I'm not even being sarcastic on that one i don't even think they spelled spooky right because spooky doesn't have an e in it I mean, come on then we got the Hurt Locker, uh, some Catherine Bigelow here. Uh, then we got Reno 911, the, uh, this is the movie. I've never watched the show, but I've, I've 
I don't know. I've never watched the show, never seen the movie. Then there's Jumper, which I've never seen. Uh, but I guarantee you these critical blurbs uh, are definitely, definitely not uh, from this movie. Yeah. You know, all kinds of stuff in here. Baggage baggage claim. Get away the... Oh, yeah, I've heard this one's awful. Um, this, is, this is what I've heard. It's terrible. Um, Brotherhood. Steven Seagal. Another Steven Seagal. That's never a good sign. Unless if it's like, you know, out for... Like if it's like hard to kill or something. Or um, what's that other one I like? Oh, uh, Mark for Duff. Uh, Blues Legends. I thought it was Blues Traveler at first. Albert King. That's cool. The Astronaut Farmer with uh, Billy Bob Thornton. And then, uh, I don't know if this is... Oh, no, this is not a critical blurb. This is a quote from the movie. Okay. Um, yeah. And according to this, Oliver Stone directed this film, which, uh, that's interesting. But it's obviously from something else. Okay, this one is probably an empty case, or no, this has something in it. Uh, the Best of... John Re Taylor, John Re Taylor or Johnny Taylor? I guess they wrote the in. Yeah, they wrote the in a little um, like an R. It's kind of weird. That actually might be kind of cool. I like Johnny Taylor, but then again, I think Johnny Taylor also has an E in it. If, if it's the Johnny Taylor I'm thinking of, man. Uh, let's see. Home Run. Vivica A. Fox in it. Although Vivica A. Fox, I don't even think is on the poster here. It's like. Yeah, Vivica A. Fox is not on the poster. I'm like, you'd think that would be like a big sell because Vivica A. Fox is a big actress. Then we got Turbo. Man, they put all the black names on here. I noticed that. Samuel L. Jackson, Snoop Dogg. That's the only way they'll get, the, they'll get people to watch these movies. You know, if you, if you have a movie, you know, with a black person, that's the only way. That's the only way they'll get people to watch them because uh, Ryan Reynolds is like the voice of the main uh, snail or whatever it is. And then we got Kit Kittredge, which I think had, um, I forget the actress that was in that one. Um, Nut Job for Kids, January 14th, cartoons. Um, what the hell is this, man? What the hell? Falcon Rising, uh, which writes, I, I wonder where they get these from. I don't know if you buy these online or what. Oh, look, Church Girl. That looks like some Bounce TV like 101 like just uh they'll play that every day another steven seagal urban warfare um this one's already sliding out it just says batman on it yeah it says batman and then yeah the dark knight rises wonderful and then a receipt here Ugh. i'm gonna get sick let's see what they buy here Let's see what what did they what did they buy from J.C. Penney? So the previous owner, and this comes to us from the date of. Let's see, this is from Bear Valley, California. Which I don't think they have that J.C. Penney's anymore. I think they all closed down. Um, normally they have the date somewhere on here. Well, first of all, they obviously spent a hundred and thirty-eight dollars and ninety-two cents. Oh, this is not that long ago. This is from two thousand seventeen, and. Uh, yeah, they just, I don't know what they bought here. It doesn't look like any movies, unfortunately. So obviously they didn't buy any movies. They bought some underwear. Then we got Get On Up uh, with the late Chaswick, Chaswick Bozeman. Rest in peace. Still makes me sad to this day. Uh, then we have a movie called Hell. Yeah, Hell. I really ain't got nothing to say about that one. Um, Hawk or Hancock, not Hawkeye, Hancock. Um, I want to look at the disc for this one. What's weird is it says, it, it looks like all kinds of stuff. Equalizer, and then it says Lucy, I think. Yeah, Lucy. So I'm thinking it might have been the Scarlett Johansson movie at first. And then, and then it's a bootleg for Hancock with Will Smith. Dude, I don't even know if it, half of these work. And there's my ugly mug right there. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Or hey, everybody. I know ladies and gentlemen is sort of a, you know, vague term. But yeah, it's uh, Hancock on bootleg. I'm surprised how many of these bootlegs, like, actually have, like, things and cases and stuff on them. Because I was expecting to find just some of these discs, like, 
just not even um not even with sleeves and then there's tyler perry good deeds which again they spelled good deads which i don't know why did you spell it good deads i mean who, who wrote this you know oh look booty talk 49 that's not gonna be watched unless it was booty call if it was a movie booty call that'd be fine that movie's funny um it says sabotage but it just has a bunch of stuff on it i don't know if they're trying to write arnold schwarzenegger but it looks like they just couldn't and then i think that's terrence howard yeah that is terrence howard who would have been a war machine but um he screwed that up uh think like a man directed from from the director who would later go on to do that mediocre as hell tom and jerry movie that just came out and then there's larry the cable guy <laughs> that's kind of funny yeah, i'm really trying to keep the camera straight and doing this with one hand and then there's el gringo which has christian slater in it that might be interesting ricky smiley that's cool i like ricky smiley black dynamite which i'm pretty sure is the movie and not the uh, cartoon series um oh boy another steven seagal blood alley and i wouldn't be surprised if steven seagal's entire filmography was in here oh and i love this they actually put an x over the uh the um fbi you know anti-piracy label then we got forced to fight with gary daniels and and robocop himself peter weller that's pretty cool uh we got fatal contact See Hannah's Law. God, what's not in here? I've heard, I've, I've, see, and then I don't know what this is. Uh, some of these I'm gonna just skip. And then we have 42 again with the late Chadwick Boseman. Rest in peace. Uh, I thought this said Pink Panther at first, but it says uh, Parker. And I thought this said Kanye West, um, but that's something else. I don't think it's Kanye West. Yeah, but it is definitely Parker. I've heard that film's terrible. We got The Wolf of Wall Street. This is a great, fantastic movie. And thank you, Martin Scorsese, for giving us Margot Robbie. Well, actually, Margot Robbie was in stuff before that movie, but that's where I first saw her in. Uh, then we got Unknown, which is unknown to me. Jack and Jill, this absolute piece of trash with Adam Sandler. This was when I used to be pissed off at Adam Sandler for making movies like this. And then he decided to make Uncut Gems and totally redeemed himself. But I would never think, like, in between that eight years that Adam Sandler would make anything like Uncut Gems. All right, I'm, I'm done. Then we got Red Dawn. I forgot who directed this, but the guy who directed this, I think, hasn't directed anything since. I remember this was like a big bomb, this remake. We got The Wolverine. Um, great movie. Well, I like Logan better, but that's still pretty good. <laughs> we got No Good Deed. This is um, Taraji P. Henson, Idris Elba. I might actually watch that one. Uh, Zookeeper. I've heard this one's terrible, but uh, I mean, what do you expect? It's uh, Kevin James, you know, comedy in the Adam Sandler vein. Eh, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Snow on that bluff. Hmm. Oh, this actually sounds kind of interesting. Okay, yeah, it's a documentary. I might give that a watch. Oh, wow. Big black wet asses. Uh, no, thank you. Not because it's black, just because it's um, porno. Uh, I don't know what this says. I guess, I don't know if it says audition or blind storm. I don't know. Nonstop with Liam Neeson. Then we have the Bourne Trilogy, which, I mean, did they really actually try to fit the whole trilogy onto one disc? I assume they did, and that will probably look like garbage, but I think a DVD could at least get, like, six hours of space so you're probably yeah, maybe it won't look nearly as awful as i think it will let's see what's in here and here there is the forbidden kingdom the jet lee jackie chan flick then we got rise of the planet of the apes man so many bootlegs am i really about to go through all these we got haywire with uh michael douglas but uh the big star was gina uh Gina Car Carano. <laughs> she was the big star in this. Not uh, not Michael Douglas. 
you know? Uh, Deuces, disc one. I don't know what that is. Uh, here's 88 Minutes with Al Pacino. And that's some horrible artwork. This almost looks like the movie Nick of Time with Johnny Depp. I've heard this film's an absolute piece of trash. Uh, and then we got, I don't know if this, some kind of instructions here for a safety latch. See Rain Over Me with Adam Sandler. Blood Diamond with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, look, Ass Wish 2. Ass Wish, Ass Wish, Ass Wish number two. I, I can't talk right now, ladies and gentlemen. But that's okay, because I won't be watching that one either. Uh, then we got, oh, wow, Pinky Chronicles 2. Again, we'll be watching that. Unless it was Pinkies from next Friday. Good Day to Die Hard with Bruce Willis. Cut on tape. With Cedric the Entertainer. I've never heard of this movie. Safe House with uh, Ryan Reynolds and Denzel Washington. I've heard this is one of the worst movies that they've done together. A lot of, a lot of really bad movies in here, man. I... Maybe it's good. Maybe this is some underrated classic I've never seen, but I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's good because Denzel Washington is one of those actors where even if the movie's not very good, I end up liking it. Like stuff like Ricochet and Virtuosity, I actually quite like, you know, because Denzel's great. And he, he's pretty cool in those movies. All right, continuing on. Empty Case. Uh, Righteous Kill. Yeah, speaking of movies I've heard are terrible, Righteous Kill, which was a reunion between Robert De Niro and Al Pacino because they were in Heat. So they did Righteous Kill. Uh, you can listen to the Opie and Anthony on that one. Oh, look, Medea's Neighbors from Hell. You know, I've, I've sat through some of those Medea movies, and, you know, even though some of those Medeas aren't great, I'll tell you one thing, uh, those Tyler Perry plays are something I just cannot, I just cannot put my, uh, my heart and mind into. And then we got Tyler Perry's Why Did I Get Married? I think two. I can barely read that one. Uh, Kia. Kim. Kim. Yeah, Kim. Don't know what that is. This looks like a CD. Uh, Robin Hood 2010. With uh, Russell Crowe. Oh, look. We got The Hunger Games. Or just Hunger Games. I think there was another bootleg of Hunger Games in here. So I'm assuming that might be the sequel or something like that. I have no idea. Um, Viking Dumb. Viking Dumb. You get it? Because it's like Kingdom and Vikings. It's dumb as hell. The Grey with the Liam Neeson. I mean, just so many bootlegs in here. I mean, just Babylon AD. Uh, I remember the director of this one gave this movie a lot of shit. And I think he did a... I think he did like a um, a documentary on like how how he got screwed over on that one. Oh look, uh, girls only. Let's see what this says on this one. Ton of Bonds three, girls only. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna be watching this one either. Just throwing the porno out the way because I'm gonna. Oh yeah, yeah, that's some that's some porno right there. No, thank you, because uh, some of that stuff's. Uh, Bad. And there's another 51st, and it and it and it looks like the same bootleg. I think we're getting duplicates. I hope we're not getting duplicates because that means I just got a bunch of shit that I don't need. The nurse. Uh, let's see. Where God left his um. Where God left his shoes. Or, where, or wouldn't it be where God left his sandals? There's another empty case. Ah. Uh, Lorenzo and Monica. Fuck this focus, man. Dude, I cannot focus this camera. Lorenzo and Monica. My leg is just killing me right now. Grudge match with Sly and Kevin. Uh, Cowboys and Aliens. I thought I said Cowboy Bebop at first. Um, and then Harrison Ford in, um, in exclamation marks. And then, oh wow, look at this. The 30 Day Heart Tune Up with Stephen Maisley. Uh, yeah, look at this. Three disc set. 
Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I don't need that one either. Uh, let's see. Let the Bullets Fly. Another blues collection. I'm okay with blues. Yeah, some BB King and stuff. That's cool. Uh, what is this? Uh, blues Bloodstock? I guess that's what it's called. Uh, Trance. Rosario Dawson. That's pretty cool. I think I've heard of that one, actually. Um... Let's see, your hit parade in the 60s. Let's take a break real quick. All right, back on to the bootlegs. Uh, uh, there's Lucy, but there's no disc in here. So, yeah, that's kind of a waste. Let's see, oh, look, set it off. This is an actual DVD, though, I've set it off. This isn't like a bootleg or nothing like that. So, this is an actual DVD of the film set it off. As far as I know, it is. Yeah, it is, and it's... It's a coaster, scratched a high oven hill. I mean, you could see the scratches on that. It looks like, I don't know. It looks like somebody used that as a coaster, you know? Nice little coaster. I don't need it, I already have set it off on DVD. I need to probably get it on Blu-ray at this point. And there's another empty case, or this one already slid out. Uh, Django Unchained, so some Tarantino bootlegs in here. A lot of what I'm finding in here is probably majority of... Oh, look, another bootleg. Ben Stein Expelled. Uh, yeah, that speaks for itself. I'm just going to throw that over there. Uh, let's see. They're, they're good. They're good. Like, they're good from the PJs. Yeah, they're good. I have nothing to say about that one. Mississippi uh, Damned? Yeah, Mississippi Damned. And then we have um, Earthquake Live to the White House. Is that like a comedian or is that just like an actual earthquake? I live in California, so we're just earthquake prone over here. I'll go through this later. I, this is probably just more stuff in there. I mean, just all the stuff here, man. John Carter. We got RoboCop with Michael Keaton, which I mean, yeah, I don't know. I never saw the RoboCop remake. We got some Twilight in here. Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2. And then we got The Lone Ranger Volume 2. One of those cheap dollar DVDs. Uh, Charlie Wilson's War. Um, what in the H is this? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I guess it's it says Bruce 1. Like, but uh, it's not Bruce Lee because it's a CDR. I, I assumed it would have been Bruce Lee. Prometheus on bootleg. Uh, Ides of March with George Clooney. Here comes the boom. I actually like this movie, Kevin James. It's it's like Nacho Libre, but with Kevin James. Not as good as Nacho Libre, but it's pretty cool. Desert Flower. Uh, who's in this one? Does it say? Sally Hawkins is in this one. That's awesome. I like Sally Hawkins. Iron Lady. Uh, Meryl Streep trying to win an Oscar and another Harvey Weinstein piece of shit. I'm not talking about the movie. This Means War. I've heard this is also another one. One of the worst with Reese Witherspoon. Which, uh, man, I miss the days when Reese Witherspoon did, like, you know, stuff like Election and Fear and Man in the Moon or whatever that was. Then we got Lincoln Lawyer DVD with Matthew McConaughey. He's a great actor. We got Moneyball on Blu-ray or on DVD because I have this one on Blu-ray. See, I'm just pulling these out. Let's see, Men in Black Three, Dictator, Prisoners, Three Hundred, Resident Empire, Need for Speed, Maze Runner. Uh, what the hell's this, man? Man, man. Get it. Stuff's giving me. Last King of Scotland, Miracle on Santa. So, some good old Spike Lee on bootleg. I'm surprised I haven't came across another Spike Lee bootleg, to tell you the truth. Um, Guardian. I don't know if this is Rise of the Guardians. I might have to pop the one in, just for curiosity. 310 The Yuma. Uh, life is Life? Turned around? I don't know what the hell it says. American. Not the American. American. Starring George Clooney. Uh, down the River, 
Madagascar 3. This reminds me of a hood bootleg, actually, to tell you the truth. Another Prometheus. What the H? How do I get two Prometheus? And then it, I don't even know what this says at the bottom. Space, what? I don't know. Get it. Art of War 2, which probably ain't got Wesley Snipes in it. Lawless. Uh, train ride some sick shit. Is the movie called Train Ride? Due date? Uh, don't know what this is. Secret Life of Walter Mitty, which is missing. Ghoul. Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close. Rango. So finally some animated movies. That's really what I was kind of looking for. Black and Wild, Volume 10. Nope. Unthinkable. Uh, Precious. That's a hood bootleg and a half. Super Spy, The Final Exit. With Lisa Ray and, uh, and A.G. Jamal which is a stand-up comedy concert special, or maybe that just bootlegged that in. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. I hope it's a stand-up. And a, oh, wow. Yeah, no, thank you. Uh, just give me Super Scrappy Hero Pup or whatever that movie was. I don't know what that is. Running Out of Time. The Survivor's Plane Crash. The Collection. Oh, I've heard of The Collection and The Collector. I've heard those are crazy movies. Bullet to the Head. Another movie I've heard was terrible. The Help. White Saviors. Soul Party. Don't know what the hell this is. Trash. Cabin in Woods. With an actual in. Cabin in Woods. A hood classic. I love it. I'm going to use that term a lot. So I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. The Company You Keep, The Rift, um, I don't know what that says, man, I, Broken City, or as some critics like to call it, Broken Shitty, I thought this was, jo I wish this was Johnny English, uh, but no, it's Steven Seagal, an act in violence of action. So now I got the opportunity to watch a lot of those Steven Seagal directed video films that I plan to never watch. Dinner for Schmucks, Booty Talk 48, La Miserables, The Butler Again, Won't Back Down, which probably doesn't have the Tom Petty song in it. I wish it did. I wonder if it does, because that song is lit. I mean, if Barnyard has it, then I assume the movie called Won't Back Down should have it. Assassin's Tell. With Michael Beach. Um, Sucker Free City. Never heard of that one. I think Spike Lee might have produced that one. Actually, not, maybe I would have. Um, this one looks like... Uh, yep, yeah, it's some more porno. No, thank you. I'm just throwing porn everywhere down there, man. It's ridiculous. Rio 2. What My Husband Doesn't Know with Michelle Williams. Is this, uh... Ah, never mind. Another Prisoners! So now, I can watch Prisoners again on bootleg DVD. Uh, Brick Mansions. Special Sky. Maybe they fit two movies on one disc. Maybe that's why it says... Maybe that's why the labels are weird. Mo Better Blacks? Captain America Winter Soldier. Oh, another, another one. Yeah. This is the end. Really funny movie. This is super funny. I actually like that movie. Two Guns, some Denzel Washington. Mommy and Me. Uh, this might be something. Another Winter Soldier. Reasonable Doubt. The Equalizer. The Son of No One. She's a horror. Uh, don't know what this one is. The King of Avenue. Another Twilight. Come on. 
Bonnie and Clyde Justified, Beast of the Southern Wild, Ben W, Half Past Dead, some more Steven Seagal, and I think that one had Jaw Rule in it, so that's also, that's, that's, that's two, that's two, two not good things for the price of one, Another Miracle of St. Anna, The Devil Inside, this film's a piece of, I'm gonna break this one. This film's a piece of shit. And I know I said I wasn't going to do that on camera, but this film fucking sucks my absolute asshole. Fuck that movie. Fuck that movie. Gosh. Uh, we got Chill Factor with Samuel L. Jackson. Well, Chill Factor wasn't it. Samuel L. Jackson wasn't in Chill Factor. And it's also in a CDR, too. That one had Skeet Ehrlich and, and uh, Cuba Gunn Jr., and then we got Lionel Richie videos. Oh, that's cool. Quarantine 2 Terminal. I hope we're not in a quarantine. If this one takes place on a plane, that's scary. That's the Delta variant right there. Uh, then we have, uh, let's see, BB King, I think. Let's see this one. I don't know what that one is. Yeah, I'm just skipping through some of these. Oh, CD-ROM from a Radio Shack. That's cool. Don't know what that... Oh, this is Mud with Matthew McConaughey. This is a good movie, actually, if you haven't seen it. Let's see. Pain and Gain. Cloud Atlas. Uh, Den Diane Washington? Oh, Diane Washington, not Denzel Washington. I was about to say, that would have been interesting. Uh, the 7%, the 70% Club. Margin Call with Kevin Spacey. That's all I have to say. Cesar Chavez. Crawl Space. Avenger 2. I don't know. Elevator. That's what it says. Elevator. Uh, oh, Nora's Hair Salon. I know what this one is. That was that direct video one. And then some birthday cards. I'll throw that over there. Uh, this one has 100 years of... of 100 years of Alpha. Okay, actually that might be kind of interesting. After 9-11. 100 years? That's weird. Okay, Captain another friggin' Captain America. Are you serious? Uh, I thought this said, oh, this is Suspect. I thought this said Losers at first. Um, let's see, Stand Up, Sparta, 300. What just happened? This is that, uh, Barry Levinson movie. Barry Levinson's the only director I can think of where, like, even if he makes a movie that's terrible, it's still fascinating. Tupac, Biggie. Tupac, Biggie. Oh, yeah. No, thank you on that one. Uh, yeah, I think... Yeah, this came from good old Adam and Eve. If only Josh Hadley would just say the Adam and Eve promo right. If you guys get that reference. Little Boy One Hotel Cali. I might throw this one out. Uh, let's see. True Grit. Whitney Houston story. I thought it was actual Whitney Houston music. Oh, it's, uh... It says Sparkle, which they didn't even spell Sparkle, right? Winnie Houston story. I wish it um, was Winnie Houston's music. I really like that one song. Uh, what was it? I'm Your Baby Tonight. I like that song. Looper with uh, Bruce Willis. Problems with Chicago. Uh, Hitler, The Rise of Eve. Or Hugh Mermaid Man. Joyful Noise. Timothy Green, Jack Reacher, Six Bullets. Oh, finally some Van Damme in here. I didn't see a nothing but Seagull, but finally some Jean-Claude in here. That's a relief. So Steve Harvey, live, uh, what, or sorry, Grandstand Finale. That's always funny. Steve Harvey's a great comedian. I like his censored stuff, and I like his uncensored stuff. Um, Rampart, with Ice Cube in it, which I didn't even know it had Ice Cube in it. Um... Stepping? I don't know. Let's see. Secretariat. Uh, 
Ohio players. I don't know. Some of these I'm going to just skip. Like this one right here. Oh, Gladys Knight. That's cool. Gladys Knight. Cannot go wrong with Gladys Knight. Don't know what that says. Project X. Um, this says Pasadena Party for real. I've seen this movie. This movie's not very good. And then originally, it, uh, but this one has Lucy in it. And it says best film ever right here. Couldn't even spell Morgan Freeman right. You gotta be kidding me. Who, who the hell writes this stuff? You people don't go to school. We have phones, you know, with auto check, with, with spell check on them. Come on. And then there's uh, Fences right here with the Denzel Washington. And then this is some kind of loose bootleg. There's so many bootlegs in here, man. I have no freaking clue. Wrong turn, three pack, Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. Portrait of a Pimp. Is this some kind of. Or, or no, it's iced tea. Okay. Kevin Hart, look at my pain. That's cool. Good old Kevin Hart. Sweeter CD than sugar. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is expired in terms of the quality because I was actually going to lick this on camera because it says it's a sweet CD sweeter than sugar so I don't know I, I, I'm not going to do that because I'm pretty sure that's been in there for years wrong turn four in time with Justin Timberlake uh, duo greater than one peoples which uh, they went with this poster they didn't go with that other poster where it was just um, Craig Ferguson's or not Craig Ferguson Craig Robinson's Ugh. Craig Robinson's face all um, in the camera. Exorcist Chronicles. Cabin in the Woods. Another Cabin in the Woods. Again, I'm getting duplicates here. And I'm pretty sure if I pop these duplicates in, they're pretty, um, they're going to look exactly, um, they're going to be exactly the same. Gangster Squad with Sean Penn. Oh, look, Dread, which is not even spelled right. I guarantee you this is the Carl Urban. It is the Carl Urban one. But they just didn't spell Dread right. Unbelievable. That's probably why that movie bombed. Because people thought it was spelled. Never mind. <laughs> the Scroll with T.D. Jacobs. This looks like the cheesiest movie ever made. Maybe it's not even a movie. Maybe it's like him on stage preaching. Oh, it's American Gangster. That, that was that last bootleg I just threw. Morgan Freeman and High Crimes. These are all CDs, by the way. I, you, I don't know. Uh, Hitman. Immortals. Uh -oh, I'm blocking the camera. Sorry about that. Immortals. Last Stand. Killer Elite. Mission Impossible. Disaster. Mission Impossible Disaster. That might be interesting. Maybe it's not the movie Mission Impossible. Or maybe it's footage of Tom Cruise yelling at people on set. That was great. Uh, Identity Theft. Then we have the Grand Master Jackie Chan's Teacher. Tower Heist. Uh, Honey Dipper. Honey Dippers. Honey Dipping. Company of Heroes. No Country for Old Men. Which has the Paramount Collection, widescreen collection on it. Uh, Joyride. Soul Train. Wait, Soul Train? I'm going to have to pop this one out. That might be kind of cool. Another friggin' Steven Seagal. Deadly. Deadly Crossing. Or no, it's not Steven Seagal. It's Steven Seagal. Low. Let me see if you guys can see it. It's Steven Seagal. -o. Yeah, Steven Seagal. -o. Yeah, so it's not Steven Seagal. It's Steven Seagal. -o. That might be actually kind of cool. Go screw Steven Seagal. And then Black History. That's actually, that sounds pretty interesting. Big Mama's Like Father, Like Son. Probably another hood classic, but even people who like don't like movies tell me that this movie's awful. I actually kind of like the first Big Mama's House. War, Her War Horse. Let me slow down on my words. The Descendants. Dark Shadows. Killing Them Softly with my song. Another, another no good deed. Now I have another one if the other one breaks. This one is... Avengers or the Avengers actually this does say you see this could be the Avengers with uh, with Uma Thurman and, and Ray Fiennes in it that might not be good 
Uh, suspense. Unknown. I think I, I just showed a Bulaga unknown. Ice soldiers. We had tiny soldiers. Or sorry, we had we had toy soldiers. We had small soldiers. We had weird soldiers, and now we got ice soldiers. Ice ice soldiers. Uh, various blues artists. I don't know what that says. Okay. Yeah, I think we're just getting some duplicates down here. Uh, note to self, watch out for Squidward. Then we got the November Man, obsessed with Beyonce in it. I've heard things about this movie, but it's got Idris Elba, and that's cool. The cast alone has me sold. That might be fun. And I, forget, I always forget how to pronounce the name of this movie. It's that soccer movie with Matt Damon in it. That's all I know it does. Long and Dole. Maybe it's... Or, oh, oh, look at them. They reviewed it. They actually did a review of Lincoln. Long and Dole. Well, I have to tell you, bootlegger, Lincoln was a pretty darn good movie when I saw it in the theaters back in 2013. So I disagree with you being Long and Dole. Let's have a Cisco and Eber discussion. Long and Dole. What movies do you like? I wonder what movies this bootlegger likes. Well, obviously, this bootlegger, I don't know. I do not know. Just throw that shit over there. Uh, then we have uh, Last Vegas. I remember that. Uh, Winter's Bone. This was the introduction of Jennifer Lawrence for a lot of people. Then we have Blues Views. Blues Views. Because we got Blues Clues, but now we got Blues Views. All right, that must be the new guy. You know, that must be after um, the guy that's on Blue's Clues now. I don't know. I, my, my Blue's Clues history only goes as far to when Joe's on there. All right, but I only mostly watch the stuff with Steve. And we got Sicko with uh, Michael Moore. Controversial filmmaker. He's done some in documentaries that I thought were kind of interesting. Like Bull for Columbine, I don't hate or nothing like that. And capitalism, I thought, wasn't that bad, but um, I don't know how those documentaries have held up over the years. Uh, then we got Red Fox Uncensored. Oh, that might be awesome. Red Fox is the man, if you guys ever watched Sanford and Son. Especially, um, uh, get the actress that played on that show, the aunt, the aunt in that show. That show's super funny, and those comedians were super funny. Um, I don't care. We the Party with Snoop Dogg. Actually, this one got some pretty good reviews, but then the IMDb rating has like a 4.2. So I don't know what to make of that. And then this one fell out of here. Uh, this one is, I don't know. Let's see, Charlie Wilson Love Charlie. There's a bunch of disc in there. Uh, I don't know. Red with Morgan Freeman. Silver Linings Playbook with Chris Tucker in it. See, see, I would have never known Chris Tucker was in that movie until this bootleg said it. Uh, this Christmas, or is it this Christmas? Yeah, it is this Christmas. Which says Tyler Perry on it. It says 2003. Um, I don't even know what the hell this is. Man, there's just so much shit in here, man. We'd be here all freaking day. Oh my gosh. I mean, look at how many bullets. Concussion, that Will Smith movie where he tried to win an Oscar and didn't. Man. Another Tyler Perry. Just, man. Maximum Risk. Is this the, the, um, the Van Damme one with Natasha Hendrins? Hendridge? The secret. I mean, look at this. Look at, look at how many bootlegs there are. Look at this. Look at this. We got Flight with Denzel. Last Man Standing. Not the Tim Allen show, which means no Caitlin Deaver. That was the only reason I watched that show. Uh, WikiLeaks. The story of WikiLeaks. Heart Specialist. Flight or Fight the Fight. Accused at 17. Fright Night, the remake with uh, the late Anton Yelchin. Rest in peace. Man, how many people? Taken 2. Laugh from keeping... Laugh to keep from crimes with Tyler Perry. 
You don't tell, I won't tell. Killing them softly with my song once again. Uh, disc 2, Denzel Collection. I'm pretty sure this has got some Denzel films. Lone Survivor. Red 2, because we had red, red 1 in here. Again, I keep thinking, every time I see blues, I just, I just think Blues Traveler. Every time, it never fails. Bobby Brown, I guess. Gunshot Straight, Steven Seagal. Robin Harris, is this really Robin Harris? That'd be awesome, because Robin Harris, no, it's a Big Happy Family, Medea's. Actually, my favorite Medea movie, actually. The only one I really like. Steven Seagal, Urban Justice. Steven Seagal, Blues, Porno. What more could you ask for? And then we got Tom Cruise and another Jack Reacher. Uh, Denzel Washington, Devil in a Blue Dress. It's always, it's just so weird to find stuff like this. Because these are like older films. These aren't like, wow, oh, wow, ooh, oh, gosh. It's like that Wally bootleg I had, just gone, just obliterated. Yeah, um, that sucks because that would have been nice to watch. That would have actually been nice. But, but like I said, I expected some of these to, you know, mess up and, you know, not work and probably be broken. Cadillac Records. Um, Hidden Figures. Let's see, what is this? Uh, badass is Danny Glover. It's hardly any Danny Glover in here. OJ 1995. Kill the record labels. Another porno. I don't know what that is. Man, some of these I'm going to have to throw out, man. Another Tyler Perry. 12 Years a Slave. Not finished. Question mark. What? I hope I don't fucking die after watching some of this stuff, man. Like, like it's not like a ring scenario where, like, you put it in and then seven days later you're dead. Just browsing through some of these. I, at this point, I'm just like... The war against the third world. I thought I said for the dark world. At this point, I'm just like really nauseated. Where to invade next? Another Michael Moore. I mean, just look at this. We got the bank job with Jason Statham. But what the hell is coming out of Jason Statham's mouth? Is that smoke? I don't know. Jason Statham. We have, oh, look, Kelpie G. Yeah, good old Kelpie G. Or Kenny G. I, I know it's Kenny G, but, you know, Kelpie G. A reference you probably already get. Deuces. The Philadelphia Experiment. Empty Case. Uh, the Visitor. Johnny Taylor. Another one. I shall put that to the side. Kelly's, Her Kelly's Heroes? So it's kind of a weird mix of movies in here. Not all black, but just a weird mix. Some Eddie Murphy, A Thousand Words. Z uh, you know, this movie might have a thousand words, but this movie's got a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, Runaway Jury, another older bootleg. Another Michael Moore, American Carol. I think it was Michael Moore. Was Michael Moore? No, this wasn't Michael Moore. Or was it? I don't remember. Uh, Tyler Perry Play. This is probably one of those plays where, like, um... You'd actually have to go out and shoot them. I don't know. Some uh, DVD conversion software. Church the Movie. The, uh, the description is, Church the Movie is a musical comedy drama. One Shot, One Life. Another Tyler Perry, Alex Cross, Super Flick. If that was the same guy that wrote the Lincoln Review, I'd probably disagree on that one. Ugh, man, I don't even know what the hell is in here. Interstellar IMAX. They actually bootleg the IMAX version? Don't know what that one is. Battleship. Man of Steel, which was just on TNT a second ago. Shy Rock, some more Spike Lee bootlegs. Gotta love them. Uh, Will Smith. Will Smith question mark, I don't know.
Charlie Brown Christmas or Charles Brown Christmas. Dream Girls on bootleg. Live Free or Die Hard on bootleg, which I just had another bootleg of. Says R-rated. Could this mean that this is the uncut version of Die Hard, um, Live Free or Die Hard? Probably not. Let's see, Mortal Enemies. Crash, which a lot of people say is the worst best picture winner ever, but I don't know. I've never seen it, actually. Uh, Home Front with Jason Statham. Let's see, Waiting for Angels. House of the Rising Sun. Black Limousine, another Men in Black 3, uh, Under Their Skin, or In Their Skin. I wish it was Under Their Skin. That was a Scarlett Johansson one. The Depth. Olympus Has Fallen. The Expendables, I think. Don't know. Uh, the Three Musketeers. Uh, the Inevitable Defeat of Mr. and Pete. Playing for Keeps. Another This Means War. The Attack Force with Steven Seagal. Is that the one with the McDonald's fry thing in the dashboard? John Wick 2. Pride and Glory. Freedman's Bank Records. Let's see. Learn learn the learn the learn the trouble. Oh, forget it. Meet the Browns, the play. And um Ugh, God, trash. And then last but not least, we have lift, left it the loose, lift, forget it. And then last but not least, we also have Steve Jobs with Ashton Kutcher. What a miracle, what a miracle. Oh, and some Warren G on cassette, that's kind of cool. And we also have some Nat King Cole on 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 cassette that's cool too except i don't have a cassette i don't think i have a cassette player i don't think i do so everybody that is all the bootlegs in there now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go through i think each one of these bootlegs and i might do a video on the ones that are interesting Okay, I'm already going to do a bootleg on like these ones with the cases, but there are so many friggin' bootlegs, I can't believe it. This <laughs> this is going to be a while. Um, and as for those ones down there, all the porno ones, I'm going to throw those away. Uh, there's just no reason to go through those. I mean, I obviously can't show them, and I mean, there's just no reason for me to keep them. So, yeah, anyways, uh, thank, thanks everyone for watching this video, and I'll see... I'll see everyone in the next video or in the near future.